Happy Sunday, everyone. Well, this video is actually going to be a short video. Uh, I'm going to title it, uh, AC UV Dye Works Awesomely. <laughs> I got finished putting this AC in the Mustang uh, recently and uh, had just beautiful cooling with it. Really, just fantastic cooling with it. Uh, but then um, went out to drive it about a week later and uh, no AC. So obviously I had a leak. Um, it's to be expected, new hoses, brand new system, car never had air. So what I went in ahead and did today um, is back down the system again, and then I added some UV dye, AC UV dye, and I went on ahead and put a little bit in the system and then recharged it up to about 20 ounces just to get it kind of flowing through the compressor. And uh, I got a nifty little black light, UV light here, you can see, it's really a, essentially just a black light. And um, I'm going to show you kind of how I found the leak, and now I know that I have it isolated, and it's not in any other one spot than the one that I found. So here's where I actually added the AC UV dye, and you can see it's kind of see how it's kind of fluorescent there. And that's okay because I knew that's where I put it in. That's, I added it to that hose right there. Uh, so just kind of tracing around, kind of ran my uh, trace into here, ran it into there. No leaks to be found anywhere in here. And basically what's going to happen is it's going to light up green. So nothing there. So then I kind of came over here. And I started shining around. And there you go. Much to my surprise, it's on the hardest hose to get to, of course. And you can see it kind of hissing out of there. You can hear it this time. You couldn't hear it last time, so... No UV dye, it looks just like normal. Bring in the, uh, the black light there, and you can see it plain as day. That's the problem. So, it's obviously going to put UV dye all in the engine bay here, which is a pain in the ass. I'll have to wash that off when it dries. But uh, that's where my problem is. So, I took my wrench and I just put it on there just to try to get it snug and that fitting is tight so my suspicion is is that I have a rolled o-ring which is oh well it happens so I'll pick up some new o-rings and you can see it's kind of sprayed itself onto the padding and stuff here so that's definitely the problem right there everything else is good everything else checks out good there there my bubble crimps are perfect but bingo there is the problem so AC UV dye, it's definitely worth worth the uh, added expense. It's only about eight bucks, nine bucks, and it will save you a world of grief. So I definitely uh, uh, am, am, a happy, am a happy camper <laughs> now that I know where my problem is and I don't have to tear the whole AC apart or worse. I thought, you know, maybe the AC compressor was leaking or something. So awesome. Um, I'll actually uh, splice another clip on here and show you what the uh, bottle of AC UV dye looks like so you can uh, make sure you get some. There it is. So really, essentially what it is, it's just this really hyper fluorescent uh, liquid, which is probably extremely toxic. So I used gloves when I was working with it, but it's basically designed to do just that. It's designed to basically light up like a light bulb anytime a, a black light hits it, ultraviolet light hits it, and it'll... Uh, It'll save you a world of grief. So, if you're definitely uh, trying to figure out an AC leak and you just can't can't get it, get yourself some UV dye, and you will find that sucker in no problem, no time. Thanks for watching, guys.